Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, this is my first day at the Dead Sea. Um, I arrived uh, about nine hours ago and uh, to the hotel room. So uh, one cool thing is, uh, oh, you know, we were arrived at the, uh, at the airport at Tel Aviv and then uh, hopped in the car and came all the way down to the Dead Sea. Now we had to drive south and then east, and that was about a two hour trip as well. Um, but the wild thing is, is like you are, you're driving, you know, through, through the towns and a lot of, a lot of open space. Um, you, you drive down this, this little highway and all of a sudden you get to this, this mountainous, like curvy area, but there's like no mountains around or there's, you know, just a couple of hills here and there, but we're not going up, we're going down. So, um, so we went down, uh, I think the altitude that we started at was, uh, uh, about maybe a, a thousand uh, a thousand meters above uh, above sea level and then we started going down 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 500 meters and then down 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 200 meters down 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 zero meters at this point we could see uh, you know this was like curvy windy um, roads all the way down uh, and at this point we could see the Dead Sea uh, and, and it was wild. It was crazy. I mean, all around, all around, you can see just like, you know, rocky desert terrain. And then all of a sudden this big mass of water just, just like out there. Um, and I wondered what, uh, there, there, there are a bunch of different little sandbars is what I'd like to call them, but they're like just straight lines out into the Dead Sea. Um, so I asked, uh, asked uh, the the uh, the founder of the Dead Sea Retreats to see what that was and he said that that was um they 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 make these little uh, areas that they can drive on so that they can collect salt from the Dead Sea so that they can uh, basically harvest it um and uh and that was kind of kind of cool and interesting um you know there's not much wildlife as you can imagine um there there are some plants that I've seen uh, on the road um, you know, there's cats. Cats can basically live everywhere, right? Um, and, uh, and birds that, uh, that come by. I think now that there's, there's a lot of humans here, there's, uh, there's also, uh, the ability to s sustain other, um, other life as well now. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, so over, over the Dead Sea, you know, as I saw it, you know, coming in last night, uh, it was... It was, uh, it was absolutely breathtaking to look at, um, you know, it, you just see this, this, this water out there and then right above it, there's like this, this haze, this, this haze that just is there and, uh, and it has not gone away at all. It's not like it's rainy. It's not like it's cloudy. Um, but yeah, there, there, there's a definitely a strange atmospheric, uh, uh, phenomenon going on right now. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it is, I don't know if it'll clear up. Um, but, uh, definitely it, it feels cool. And, and another thing, um, you know, as you start getting closer, uh, you can kind of taste the salt in the air. Yeah. So, uh, today I'm going to be going to do the, uh, the first consultation with the doctors and the medical staff, uh, to, to check out and see what, uh, what they've got planned for me. So we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get a good plan and, uh, and, and we'll, we'll see you guys over there. Okay. Here's that left leg. Uh, immediately, I mean, this is this is right before the uh, the first um, treatment today, supposedly. Um, so my legs immediately already look less inflamed. I'm not sure if that's because of environmental conditions or if um, if it's just a good day. I have been putting lotion on it. Um, one thing I did notice is that it's, um, without putting lotion and stuff on here, it was really, really, really dry. Um, and I'm not sure if that was because I was in a, uh, basically super arid environment, uh, in the airports and the, uh, airplane for a while or not. But, uh, but I had to, to moisturize cause it was, it was, uh, the skin was tugging on me big. Okay, over here is the right leg. Oh, one other thing is, is I, before I left, um, since the last be benchmark, I did scrub down just a little bit, nothing crazy. But, um, but that was only a day ago. And as you can see, I still have plenty for the 
plenty for the uh, professionals to remove. Hey guys, let's go back from three hours of the medical spa treatment. This place uh, over literally right on the Dead Sea, it's a little clinic over there we went to. That was, uh, that was an experience, it was pretty cool. The first thing that they did uh, to me was they, they gave me a little appointment with the doctors on staff and I chatted with them for a little while and <clears throat> they basically prescribed a, a little treatment plan for me. Um, so the first thing that they did was a peel. Um, they did a salt scrub peel. So basically they had me lay on a, on a massage table and uh, strip down and they, um, they, they scrubbed down all of, my, all of my psoriasis and my entire body with, uh, with salt, uh, dead sea salt and um, some oil mixture that they had. That was very, um, that was very abrasive. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it, it scrubbed every they, they scrubbed every every last inch of my body and it was it was basically um, like sandpaper all over my body it was it was relaxing but it was also kind of painful so yeah I mean it was it was painful it was uh, it wasn't like unbearable but it was a burning sensation all over my, those psoriasis patches basically uh, the second thing uh, that they did was a uh, the, the second treatment that they did was uh, called seaweed, but they they didn't use seaweed, or at least I, I maybe maybe I'm not understanding it. There is a language barrier um, for me, but uh, but it was it was a cream that they 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 basically it was a very 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 liquidy cream, um, and they they put that all over my body. Um, I laid on this this this, this funky little table that uh, that that once. Once I had all this cream all over my body, they put me. Uh, they pressed a couple buttons, and I went down into this little waterbed type thing. And, uh, and I was just laying there suspended on this, basically this rubber layer. And, uh, and below me was water, nice warm water. And that, uh, that had jets in there, it was massaging my back. That felt really great and nice. I just wanted to curl up in there and, and go to sleep. The, the cream that they put on at that time basically uh, just got rid of all of the burn. There was no burning sensation left. Um, there was no pain, no nothing. And, uh, and that, that was cool. That was pretty much instant relief um, from, from the, uh, the feeling of burning on my psoriasis patches. So that was, that was really nice. Then the next thing they did, uh, I don't know exactly what they did, but they put me in this like little mini MRI type thing. Um, and, uh, and, and it was supposed to be some sort of use of magnets. Um, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not a believer in the whole magnet healing powers and stuff, but you know what? I mean, at this point it can't hurt anything. You know, it can only either do something or not do something. The, 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 the doctor, uh, I think, uh, he mentioned that it's supposed to help the liver. It was just right over my belly basically. Um, and it was supposed to help my liver kind of balance out and, and, and something. So I don't know, I can't really explain what that did. Then the fourth treatment was to uh, was basically mostly derm dermatology type treatments. So I went into another room where they had a full body uh, phototherapy thing, and just like my phototherapy thing that I showed you at home, um, it, it, I just basically stood in front of that for a minute, uh, and they just blasted me with uh, UVB rays, uh, and then I did that both front and back. And then after that, uh, I laid on the table, and the uh, the lady or the doctor used this little little rod that was attached to a little 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 machine, uh, and this little rod had a glass tube on it, and uh, when she turned it on, it looked like there was plasma going all the way up that tube, uh, and, uh, and 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 she would touch that tube to my to my hands and my my entire body. She did it all over my body, um, but she would do she would pay close attention to the the, the areas with psoriasis, and um, and and when uh, when she was using it um you know i would feel like sparks basically um sparking my skin um and so i don't like i said i don't know what that machine was called but it was kind of cool um so it was sparking me fire alarm hopefully you don't have to get out of here so 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 she was sparking me basically with this little wand and uh and and for the most part on the psoriasis i didn't feel anything but uh but on my regular skin 
Um, I could feel it, like, you know, just little, little sparks just sparking at me constantly. So that was kind of cool. I don't know what that was designed to do. Speaking of sparks, <laughs> more, more, more alarm going off. So, yeah, I don't know what this thing was designed to do. Um, but, uh, you know, it kind of felt like little, little pinpricks, you know, pinpricks. Maybe acupuncture of some sort. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, uh, that was uh, that was cool. And then the last bit that, that she did, she uh, basically covered my body in another different type of cream. Uh, very, it didn't smell like anything. It was very neutral. Um, and then she stuck me under what looked like heat lamps. Um, and she put glasses on me so that uh, I didn't have to you know, get to get any of this in my eyes, but I'd imagine it was some sort of wavelength of light. Um, but it was, it was warm light, very warm. Unlike the, unlike the UVB rays, uh, th those are warm too, but not, not, not to this degree. They, they, they looked bright red and it was, uh, it was definitely, it looked like I was, I was sitting under those, those heat lamps that, uh, um, the restaurants use to keep their, their French fries and, and plates warm. So I did that for another, I don't know, 20 minutes. And uh, then I was basically done after that. So in total today, uh, with the diagnosis and everything, that probably lasted about three and a half hours or so. And uh, and it was it just it just went right by because you know, most of that I was just laying on a table, not doing anything, and and um, it was very very relaxing, and I enjoyed the the heck out of it. So basically, they said to get as much sun as I can. However, today only one hour's worth, and and they don't want me to get into the Dead Sea. Uh, just yet until my my, my skin has a chance to uh, recover from the the peeling process it's kind of jet flying by it's pretty cool or scary so in total today was pretty cool I enjoyed the heck out of it uh, relaxing every day pretty much I'll be going through very similar stuff uh, while I'm here and also in addition to that I'm supposed to go jump in the Dead Sea uh, for uh, 15 minutes at a time, uh, four times a day, and get uh, at least two to three hours of sun. So, all right, guys, so that was day one of my little Dead Sea journey here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button, and I'll try to be doing videos every single day this week um, and showing you guys what, uh, what I'll be going through, hopefully. All right, so check it out, guys. Here's my left arm. Um, this is after the peel, as you can see. That uh, that nice cut there still is uh, not not cut. It's a split. That nice split is still uh, still present. Uh, thankfully, scabbed over. But uh, there's that on my left arm. Okay, and there's my right arm. Okay, and. Here is my right leg. I didn't get all of it, but here's some juicy stuff for you. There is uh, there's some dried up patches there that uh, after the scrub, and there's some more here on the back. Okay, and my left leg. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and peel these guys while it's hot. I don't have any tools with me, no knife, no, no dental pick, no nothing. Just gonna have to make do with my fingers.
Okay, so these are this is the result uh, of that one peel, that little uh, section of my calf there. Um, as you can see, that's a lot of skin there. Here's that big chunk at the end.